Lego Building Techniques You Want to Believe like this lego toilet you can use these pieces to create the seat and this round one to create the cleanest lego toilet paper ever today we're going to go over genius lego building techniques for instance these are lego brackets they make your build less boring by allowing you to attach stuff to the side if you look at this piece you see that it sticks out there are a variety of these pieces one that goes up and one that goes down in fact you can even combine them. These bigger ones are 5 studs tall for instance. However, with the smaller ones it's much more complicated. We can put one stud here but you see it still sticks out. When we put two studs it becomes too big. They are useful for various things like this very clever hidden window in an iron frame for my building. It's hidden as you can see. There's also this piece that has studs on the side, allowing you to add pieces wherever it doesn't stick out compared to the bracket. But if you actually attach stuff to it, it will stick out, so you can make it thicker and adding two studs and whatever decoration you want at the end. We made a boarding wall cool. One thing that you need to keep in mind with this piece is that it is not perfectly two pieces tall. So, you need to attach plate at the top. This is the headlight brick. In fact, you can even combine it with the brackets to create different textures or a car piece. The headlight brick has got to be one of the most useful LEGO pieces, just like clicking that subscribe button. You can also use this piece as bricks on a wall. We can also combine the headlight brick with other pieces like it to create an inverted stud, just like this LEGO TGV set. In my LEGO Special Christmas Edition of LEGO Building Techniques, I showcase this super useful building technique, which allows you to create an almost perfect roof. In the last video, I also showcased this beautiful piece here, but did you know that if you grab this other small round piece with the thing on top, you can invert it and even add a bracket as the cherry on top. Are you tired of having boring looking stairs? And do you want to have more realistic or cleaner stairs? Look no further than this video because you can grab regular bricks and invert them to create a clean lego texture. You can also grab this strange piece that looks like a channel piece and put it on the side to create a different feel altogether. You can even have a floating stair like so, but there are also these weird bricks, they are not like the head like bricks, so what can they be used for? Well, in this Lego set, Elizabeth's Tower, aka the Big Ben, use it to create facade detail. And if you put bricks in between, it can even grow bigger. And we can put the piece here. But what makes the brother of this piece so special is that you can attach stuff to both sides. And this is super useful, however, there is a problem. The color sticks out. There is a solution to that. Make it two plates thick. Add one plate here, another one here, and this weird piece to fill the gap, and another piece and boom you get the perfect corner. Another use for it is like I use for this cornice. There is also the corner one that's four studs on the sides. That's just mind blowing. You can also use this hammer as bricks on a wall, just like this Lego cabin set. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Lego made this balloon piece, but it doesn't seem as if you can make anything other than a balloon. Actually, you can. If you invert it, we can make it an onion roof. Uh, like onions. <laughs> they stay? What else would you use these pieces for? Let me know in the comments below. Layers! Onions have layers. Let's talk about single use pieces just like that balloon piece. There are these door pieces which can be used to make a door of course. But I haven't found another use for them. What else would you use these door pieces for? There is also this piece which can be used for support, for instance, or a shelf. There is also this piece that it looks useless unless you want a canoe. And of course we have the iconic big ugly rock pieces. Going back to pieces, we have these angle pieces. We can twist and turn to make different angles, for instance, or even a house roof, just like I did here. 
Let's talk about Lego with plates on the middle. There are so many of them. The little one, this one and this chunky one. There are many uses for this so-called jumper plate, just like new elementary showed here. There are also these pieces, if we grab this other one we can make an angle, for a roof or whatever you want. There are many of these, the small ones, chunky ones and the ones that made a cool sound. Now let's talk about Lego Dots, because Lego Dots is going away, yes, Lego will be ending the thing forever. And if you want to know more Lego films that are ending forever, I recommend you check out my video on it. Get your hands on these letters, for instance, while you can. With Lego Dots, we can create super different and unique patterns. There are corner pieces, this cool the sack piece, big curve, huge curve, different colors, and even the super cool piece that Lego just revealed that to fix a lot of gaps. We talked about many cool LEGO building techniques, but did you know that there are illegal LEGO building techniques? Well, these are LEGO building techniques that can probably and most likely break your pieces or stress them over time. For instance, putting these plates in between plates like so, but if you put a tile, it's not illegal, it's legal because it's not creating that stress. However, did you know that LEGO actually used an illegal LEGO building technique once? This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. It was for this LEGOLAND promo, where you can see they attach these macaroni bricks with this piece, which could potentially break it over time. This probably happened because this model was designed at LEGOLAND without the help of LEGO designers ever since they changed the system and now Legoland sets are properly designed. But this raises the question, are LEGO illegal building techniques that important? So we learn a lot of useful LEGO building techniques from the small stuff to onion domes that have layers upon layers of creativity. We both have layers. <sighs> But what's important to keep your mind is that you need to use these building techniques on your builds. Because if you don't use it, you lose it, you know? Over time you might forget about it. That's why I recommend you try some of these out for yourself. And that's why this video exists. Because you can rewind it multiple times. So, get out there and keep on building. Now, if you want to see what happens when I apply these building techniques, Combined with the full power of artificial intelligence, AI, well, you have to click the video that's appearing on your screen right now. See you there, guys!